Hi, welcome to another video by Starbridge Mom. My name is Jessica and today's video is all about the biofield. If you are not familiar with a biofield or biofield healing, stay tuned. This video is for you and likely you are being guided to this information for one reason or another. I truly believe that. So we're going to go ahead and start off with conventional medicine. Conventional medicine is essentially sick care or symptom care. Conventional medicine treats disease and discomfort with diagnosis and medications. It doesn't really treat the overall person. It treats the illness. And to get really clear, conventional medicine often works as a band-aid to cover up or ease symptoms. It doesn't ever really get rid of whatever the underlying issue is. It doesn't even really go into discovering why something might be happening to someone. You aren't just a list of symptoms. However, conventional medicine can be useful in figuring out if you have a specific illness and treating emergencies. And sometimes medications are absolutely warranted at times. Having said that, medication isn't the only way to treat illness in a person. Where energy medicine is looked at as complementary, I see it the other way around. Medications and diagnosis are complementary care when needed. I'm in no way whatsoever suggesting to do it with allopathic medicine. I believe that a person needs options and different models of medicine at different times in their life for one reason or another. I'm definitely not a stranger myself to needing mainstream medicine during certain times of my life. It's entirely okay to integrate multiple models of treatment and medicine to support your body. You can use conventional and energy medicine and you can work together with both models. What I want for people to understand is that their body is intelligently and lovingly designed. It is capable and it wants to heal. I want to empower people to trust the innate wisdom of their body. I want to support people to raise their consciousness, to live a happy and healthy life, to recognize the power and capability within them and in the field that's around them that they can tap into. Everyone can tap into a biofield and into their biofield. So I'm going to read something for you that was, is a portion out of a medical journal. It's called Biofield Science and Healing, History, Terminology, and Concepts. It was published November 4th in 2015, and I found it on PubMed Central. So advances in biophysics, biology, psychology, and the developing fields of mind-body research, such as psychoneuroimmunology and psychosocial genomics have helped substantially to form a foundation for this expanded, expanded integrative medical model. In addition to biochemical signals, the idea that living systems generate and respond to energy fields as integral aspects of physiological regulation reflects a convergence of several disparate paths. Numerous spiritual traditions describe modes and pathways of energy within and surrounding the physical body. Many complementary and alternative medicine therapies utilize variants of laying on of hands and other minimally invasive procedures to improve endogenous energy flows. Moreover, Western biomedicine routinely examines the electrical fields from the heart through ECGs and brain via EEGs as indexes of clinical pathology. Furthermore, contemporary cell biology and biophysics provide evidence that endogenous electromagnetic and other types of fields play active roles in development, tissue repair, and an array of homeodynamic processes. That's a mouthful. What in the heck does it all mean? Basically, what it means is that we're energetic beings. And finally, science is starting to catch up with spirituality and the eons of using energy healing modalities throughout the world. Science has only been around like 300 years. It's relatively new in the history of humanity. When we look through ancient cultures and, and civilizations, healing practices and spirituality has played an enormous role in how we support and empower people to heal and overcome illness and struggling and challenges in their life. So what is a biofield? A biofield is a biological field that is around your body and within your body. It informs your physical well-being. So in other words, our bodies aren't just a machine with separate functioning parts. For starters, nothing separate. The physical parts of our body are working together and are informing one another. 
they're all linked. So your heart, your brain, uh, your lungs, your digestive system, your limbs, your blood, all everything is connected physically, but we're also connected with our energetic body, our spiritual body, our emotional body. So all of those things are linked. We're physical, we're metaphysical, we're spiritual, we're energetic beings, and that's based also on vibration and a frequency range. So the body has a biofield, but we can even look at a singular cell and see that it too has a biofield. Biofields can be dense and they can be subtle. They can be both permeating and interactive within the person and with other biofields. So this means that your cells that each have their own biofield interact with each other. The biofield of your heart can interact with the biofield of your lungs or the biofield of your liver. But it also means that your biofield your, and your overall biofield can interact with other people's biofield. But it doesn't stop there. Pretty much everything has a biofield. Anything with a, a vibrational frequency, which is everything and everyone, has a biofield. And so our biofields interact with the biofields in nature, with trees, with plants, with animals, with rocks, with water. I mean, everything that has a biofield, our biofield can interact with. This goes even further and expands into the biofields around planets and in the cosmos and with stars. So there's a lot of interacting going on with this biofield. In short, we're connected to everything and everyone everywhere. This is huge. So now I'm a bit of a Trekkie and there is a scene in season one, episode three of Discovery, Star Trek Discovery, and it got me really excited when I watched it. It meshed right in with my understanding of quantum physics, spirituality, the unified source field, um, the universe being both fluid-like and biological as well as based on physics. So there's this character named Paul Stamets, and he's actually named after a real guy named Paul Stamets, who is a mycologist. And in the, char the character Paul Stamets, he's in charge of the science team on the Discovery ship, and in the show he explains astromycology to another crew member, Michael Burnham. And he states in the scene that astromycology is physics as biology. So, by the way, astromycology is actually a real field of science, and the real Paul Stamets brought his ideas about mycology to NASA. So it's really cool. If you do watch that show, it's all about how they can jump through time and go to different planets and places through the mycelium network. It's awesome. Okay, so why did I geek out over this scene and love it so much? I'm going to give you another quote from the show. It's fungal roots, a.k.a. mycelium spread across the universe, fanning out into infinity to create a matrix that serves as our intergalactic freeway system. In the show, like I was just mentioning, the Discovery crew is able to jump to places throughout this interconnected web that is the mycelium network. And it's really not too far off from discussing what a biofield is because essentially we're all interconnected through a web of energy. We are vibrational energetic beings connected to a unified field, a bioweb of energy and higher intelligence. This field is like an energetic fabric that's fluid like. The universe and everything within it, including us, are this energetic fluid medium vibrating at different frequencies. These vibrational frequencies form shapes. It forms all that is seen and unseen. We're, we are much, we are in a way much like Paul Stamets expresses that astromycology is physics as biology. We are physics as biology and biology as physics. So what is biofield healing? Now that you have the basic understanding that everything and everyone has a biofield, how do we actually heal with it. Biofield healing awakens the healing potential within each of us. It empowers us to move beyond pathogenic thinking. When we start to explore the biofield, we discover the connection between consciousness and healing. Biofield healing taps into this universal unified field. I'm going to say that again. Biofield healing taps into this universal unified field. 
This is limitless potential. Do you realize the limitless potential of this? We can access the wisdom and energy of the cosmos, the wisdom and energy of the earth, the wisdom and energy of each other, and the innate wisdom and healing energy that's within each of us individually. This is huge. We're surrounded by energy. So what happens when somebody needs biofield healing? It means that there's a block of flow in their energy around and in their biofield, and it can manifest as an illness. So something comes into the biofield, you know, if it's lingering there, stagnating or blocking energy flow, it can manifest as a physical illness. So biofield therapies work with a person's energetic field to restore and promote the body's inherent healing abilities and then therefore also produces a sense of well-being. So biofield healing therapies work to increase the vibrational frequency of the person by clearing and neutralizing motions that are trapped in the body. It can also help release blocks, cords, stressors, limitations, like limiting beliefs, and even ancestral patterns because our DNA and cells have what's also called cellular memory. So some energetic healing modalities can even be used on animals like Reiki. So I'm going to give you a list of some of the biofield healing modalities. You've probably heard of a lot of these, but there are definitely hundreds of them. This is just a short list. There's Reiki, pranic healing, chakra alignment, sound bath, qigong, therapeutic touch, heart and brain coherence practices, meditation, EFT, or what's also known as tapping, acupuncture and acupressure, light language, gemstone therapy, aromatherapy, breath work, chiropractic care, craniosacral therapy, vibrational medicine, color therapy, and shamanism. There's hundreds, like I said, of healing modalities that it can affect or work directly with the body's biofield. Most of these modalities have been around since the beginning of humanity and have been taught and passed down through spiritual and cultural practices. So how does it even like really get in there and work? And how does a healer work with it? So the question is, what's love got to do with it? Glad you asked, Tina, because love has everything to do with it. Biofield healing works on the foundation of pure intent, connection, unity, consciousness, or oneness, and opening the heart and working from the heart with love and compassion. In order to work as a healer, working with the biofield, um, you need to be able to tap into this energetic field. You need to be able to trust and connect with a higher purpose, a higher intelligence, a higher consciousness. For some, this is connecting with their higher self. Um, it could be, and also connecting to the higher self of the person that they're treating. But for some, it's their deep connection to God. It's their deep connection to the universe. It could be a connection to angels and spirit guides. But typically, there's an underlying spiritual wisdom and practice in place when going into this field of work and healing. So as a person who's on the receiving end of treatment, there has to be this sense of surrendering and trusting the process. And that's not always easy for many. Uh, we've all been taught, especially women, to not trust our bodies. And over the last couple of years, there have has been some really major collective trauma um, where we've been made to not trust our bodies, to not trust our friends, family, neighbors, for that matter. It's a lot of damage control going on right now. Um, with that said, energy healing doesn't have to be done in person. Uh, in a lot of cases, Reiki, for example, can be done long distance. Light language can be done long distance. There's a lot of things that can be, a lot of modalities that can be done long distance. I personally believe that things are that much better when you're working one-on-one -on -one with people, whether you're an energy healer, a psychologist, a conventional medicine doctor, it doesn't matter. I, Because of our biofields and because of our energy and our frequencies and what we bring to the table with skill sets and working with somebody who needs healing, I think it's really vital to be in person, but um, I also know the effects of being able to heal long distance without having to be one-on-one -on -one in person with people too. And um, so it, it really comes down to if you have the desire to be healed, if you want to heal, then um, allowing yourself to open up and connect with another person for the healing, then the outcome for success is going to be really high. 
even if you're not sure that you quite understand what biofields are or what energy medicine is, how the practice works, how it all, what the mechanism is, let me tell you, science has still not figured out the mechanism of biofield healing. They're working on it. There's a lot of studies going on about biofield healing and energy medicine, but nobody's been able to figure out the mechanism. Um, if you believe in God, then as I do, I believe that's the key there. There's a connection to this overall universal higher consciousness that is God and love and compassion is pure. Um, it's raw primal energy. So you really only need to be willing to receive the energetic healing is what I'm getting at. So it does help when you have a spiritual practice that you follow, but it's not always necessary. I imagine that if you're watching this video or you're reading a blog, then you're looking for information about biofield healing. You're probably open to or are becoming open to alternative routes to support your health, your healing path, your journey to raising your vibration and state of consciousness. And that's a great thing. Just being curious is the first step. So follow your heart. It's your master intelligence. It knows what's best for you. And if you listen to your heart, you're going to know what's right for you. Chances are, if you're here listening to this video, your heart's guiding you. You have the ability to heal and be healed and create a deep sense of well-being. And you did hear that correctly. Anyone can heal. Anyone can be a healer. You can heal yourself and you can heal others. You don't have to become a healer if it's not your calling, but you can trust that there are healers that are very passionate about what they do and they feel the they feel a profound connection and desire to support and empower others. And I know this because this is part of my calling. It's a God given calling that I feel to support and empower others to heal. Um, and other healers that I have worked with both being treated by and that I've talked with feel this very deeply and profoundly. So trust the wisdom of your bio field and the universal unified field. Because we can harness this energy and wisdom to heal our bodies. Our bodies, physically and energetically, are incredibly powerful. And they're wired for healing. Our body is wired for healing. My hope is that one day, all of humanity is going to awaken to this divine healing ability within and all around us. And I'm so passionate about my intention to support healing the inner space, which in turn also heals the outer space of the collective biofield. It fills me with excitement, love, curiosity, and gratitude. So that is this video all about the biofield. I plan to do more topics breaking down more about biofield healing and energy medicine. If you have questions or curiosity about what you would like to see me do a video on next in, the, in regards to this topic, please leave it in the comments. I do read the comments. Um, I would love to be able to give you the information you're looking for and support you in that way. Also, go ahead and go to starbridgemom.com. I do offer energy medicine services as well as other programs, astrology reports, and if anything, if you feel like you resonated with this information or you got something from it and you want to do an energetic exchange, uh, I, do offer, I do have the ability to accept donations on my website. So thank you so much, you guys, because your support means everything to me, um, and it's how I do what I do. It's how I provide this content. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.